Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights, Shadows of Eventide. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. I think I've sorted out all the sound settings that I need to possibly sort out. Um, well, here we are. With Drogon still like, oh god, I'm in so much trouble. Let's close the door, shall we? It's a wee bit drafty. Watch this. We'll open the door now. Apparently, she really doesn't like the fact when the door is open. We'll just, uh, come on. Come on! She'll walk back over there. And then, in a little moment, she will be like, Let's close the door, shall we? I could just be complete... Total, total fool. Let's go talk to Aelia again. Okay. Have you any news of the artifacts? No, nothing yet. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, how else can you help me, exactly? Well, that depends. Is Drogon still using the teleportation rings he created? If you ask whether or not he still gives the rings to his students, the answer is yes. Thankfully, yes. You needn't get so excited about them, Xanos. They're just rings. You'll keep that smirk when I cannot see it, Dwarf. These rings will save our lives plenty in the days to come. The fact that you have them is good. As I recall, the ring uses the energy of a focus crystal to pull you into... To each Drogon the instant before death, correct? You can use them to voluntarily to return to Drogon's side. Seeing as I'll be wherever Drogon is in both cases, we can use that to our advantage. I should be able to use the connection between the ring and the spot you came to come to teleport you back there if you need to. I wouldn't advise jumping back somewhere dangerous, but it will at least be able to save you some time. I'm afraid there's much more, not much I can do there. Uh... Do you have any more crystals from the rings? No, of course not. I would imagine the Drogon has a lab around here, perhaps in his room. If you can find it, there may be a way to make more crystals. I have some questions. Tell me more about these artifacts, the MacGuffins, the, the broad items. I know a little about these artifacts, but keep in mind that anything I tell you comes mostly from memory. I wish I had more detailed information to offer. Let's see. If I remember correctly, there are four artifacts in total. A mummified hand, a dragon's tooth, a statue of a tower, and a mask. Tell me more about the mummified hand. It belonged to a powerful lich named Befelron, who you will inevitably meet in this game. I mean, you won't meet in the game, as I understand it. The hand was all that was left when he was destroyed. I remember it being said that some of Befelron's power remained in the hand. So perhaps someone is trying to tap into it, or perhaps one of Befelron's old followers wants him resurrected. <laughs> if that is the case, it would be terrible news. Befelron just threatened to destroy Faerun the first time. We certainly need, don't need him trying it again. Tell me about the dragon's tooth. A remnant of a great worm. Oh, why do these things not have nice names that I can pronounce? Hephaestagon, a great dragon that also wielded the most evil of the black arts. The dragon died long ago, but it's possible that the kobolds could have some interest in it, seeing as they are some, they are of some draconic origin themselves. I have trouble believing the kobolds are the instigators of this theft. However, it's more likely they serve another. Perhaps even a dragon, dragon aspiring to have Hephaestagon's power. Tell me about the tower statue. I actually do not know much about that. I believe it was found in a desert tomb many years ago, and one of our wizards detected powerful and destructive magic within it. The nature of the magic could not be discerned, however, so it was put aside to be kept safe until more could be discovered about it. I have my doubts that the statue would be of use to anyone. Perhaps its death was only incidental because it lay with the rest. Tell me about the mask. It once belonged to a high priest of the Lord of Shadows, I believe, and is imbued with considerable power, although no one has figured out how to use it. Seeing as the gods of Thebes rarely produces items of benevolent purpose, it was decided best to keep the mask safe and out of the followers' hands. Perhaps someone has figured out how to use the mask's power? If so, any amount of mischief could be expected as a result. Why are these items so dangerous? All four of them are considered power a considerable power to a malevolent nature, although we've yet to discover any application for any of this power. In fact, that the power exists could be tempting enough for some, and it's very possible that there could be... There may be someone out there who knows more about these artifacts than we do. The trouble we will be figuring out which artifact the thief is in fact interested in, and what they intend to do with it. Certain, considering the nature of these items, it is certainly evil. Why were the artifacts kept here, then? Why not somewhere safer? And where exactly would somewhere safe be? Behind the walls of a keep, surrounded by guards? What better way to announce that you hide something of value? No, the Harpers believe that the school was a remote enough and nondescript enough to be considered safe from molestation. 
For many years, that was indeed the case. I want to talk about something else. Like nothing else. No, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to recruit a member of the party. If you're here to help Master Drogon, you'll need to get underway as soon as possible. Do you need my help? Oh, bringing an extra pair of hands would be a good idea. Well, you know me. If you need a sharp eye to watch for ambushes or a nasty trap dealt with, I'm your girl. What do you say? I think that should uh, would be a good idea. Great. We'll have Master Drogon's artifacts back in no time. And maybe pick up a coin or two for ourselves along the way. Yeah. This woman is the one that I'm going to use. She has her own equipment. She has her own... Stop casting Cure Disease on him, it's not working. She'll follow me. I'll order her around. Yes? What want, do you need? I want to change your tactics. You can change their tactics. I want to adjust your equipment, defend me and don't attack until I do. I want to change the distance you stay away. Pretty much she'll just follow me. You're only allowed one actual companion in the game. So uh, let's let's look around. There's a crate. In it is bugger all. But there's meat. Actually, there is something else I want to ask her. There you are. Have you any news? No. How is Master Drogon? Master Drogon doing? Poorly. Takes all the magic I can muster to keep the poison from killing him. I will do what I can. He is a strong dwarf. I'm sure he will put through. Is there something I can do to help Master Drogon? Yes, actually, perhaps there is. I believe the poison is a magically altered form of snake venom. Perhaps from an asp or something similar. That's the case. There may be some herbs that can speed Drogon's recovery. <laughs> there is a herbalist in Hilltop who should have them. Go to the herbalist and tell him you need a trissom tongue, some charcoal, and some helm thorn berries. Then bring these back to me. Excellent, I will do that. And by will do that, I mean I'm going to explore and steal things first. You won't mind, will you, Drogon? After all, you are completely and utterly incapable of doing anything. Ah, divining pool. Excellent, that's going to be completely worthless. This is obviously a magical pool filled with an opaque, vicious liquid, viscous liquid. A ting of the immense power radiates in the pool, and simply being near it fills you with a sense of divine will, and engraving on the side of the pool explains its purpose. If fused within the essence of the immortal Tyr himself, the pool of righteous energy will cover any relics lost by those in the service of, Tyr, of the just god. A small donation... Ah, pretty much. Give you items and you will recover things for me. Excellent. Now, as awesome as this, um, this sword I picked up is, it's useless. It will go quite promptly on the floor here and I will forget about it, because while I'm going to use a great sword, Big or small, a paladin's work is never done. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Tidal wave. Anyway. Jogon's lab is downstairs. If he kept the artifacts anywhere, it would have been here. It's well guarded, however. I'll never be able to sneak into it, so I wonder how they could have. We're not sneaking in. We're walking in. Like bosses. Hello. Hee hee. You do not know how to get past the wards. Oh my, what is this? Is it another kobold come to wreak havoc on Master's things? Well, Rizzy will fight them, yes she will. She will protect her Master's things this time. No, 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 it is someone I recognize. Gladdens my heart, yes it does. Hello there, Barry. Hello, Rizzy. How are you? I'm still being Rizzy. Oh yes, I am not dead. That is a good thing. But you should be knowing that kobold stole Master's stuff. Yes, they did. But Barry, you cannot help, for they are gone. And it is sad. But Reese feels something is wrong with Master. Tell me what happened to him, please, oh please! I could try and lie, or wound him will likely die. Nah, I'm gonna tell the truth. Master Drogon was poisoned by the kobolds. No, no, oh no! Poor, poor Master! Poor, poor Reese! If Master dies, then Reese will be alone! Reese should go to Master, yes, she should! But Master wanted Reese to stay down in his laboratory, oh yes! That is what he said. And Reese must obey, kind Master. Oh, Barry! Reese feels terrible right now. Maybe if we talk a bit, you will make me feel better. Yes, yes, I love to talk. Do you want to hear a riddle? Oh, what have I done? I have unleashed the power of whatever this is. Tell me your riddle. Oh, yes, yes, my riddle. A fine choice for a fine man. Here's my riddle. A woman has five children and half of them are sons. Is this possible? Uh... 
I don't know. That is too bad, yes it is. You should have guessed, because there is a good chance you would have gotten it right. You are not much smarter than a kobold, I am afraid. It is true, the other half of the children are also males. She must have five boys. It is a trick, see? I never said the other half were not boys. Do you want to talk about something else? This thing is annoying. And try not to answer the riddle, little pest, riddle in riddles, little pest. Your mind is like a young puppy chasing its tail in circles with no idea what it would do if it caught it and took a bite. Reese hears a voice, but he does not see where it is coming from. Could it be a ghost? Oh, wait, way down there. It is a voice from a bump in the ground. Reese does not know that small lumps of dirt could speak. No, she did not. <laughs> Doran is right. Do you have a similar useful thing to say, Reese? Oh, Barry, you should not speak to Reese so. No, you should not. She is trying to be helpful, yes, she is. Even though you are mean to me, I will still try to help. Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Questions are not as good as riddles, unless the questions are riddles. But you will ask, and I will try to answer. How do I get into the laboratory? You cannot get in the way the kobolds did. No, you cannot. Reese cannot believe and believe the kobolds could get in. I saw them coming to the laboratory, and I knew they could not get across, and I thought it was going to be such fun watching them from behind the magic circle. I was about to appear to them to taught them, yes I was, but then they stopped and you would not believe what they did. No, you would not. They threw dust in the circle. A little dust disrupted the mag Joe's protective magic? <laughs> it must have been magic dust, oh yes, or it would not have worked, no, no, no. Stupid ugly kobolds walked right over the symbol and looted all the master's things. This thing is annoying me. Well, maybe not all of his stuff, no, no. There'll be some stuff left. Little bits of stuff the kobolds, super kobolds, nothing could be important. Or no could find. <laughs> but you cannot get into master's laboratory. No, you may not. Why can't I go in? No, Reese, no can tell you that. No, no, no. Master never tells anyone that sec for Reese, and now Master is upset. Oh yes he is. Reese can feel it. Yes, yes, yes. Master trusted Reese to protect his treasures and now Reese has failed. Reese will never fail Master again. You not ask to get in anymore. No, no, no. Surely you can trust me to go in. No. What are you, stupid little kobold? Me said no and me mean no. But wait. We see what is going on. Yes, she does, and you will not be tricking her, nasty little kobold. What are you talking about? You must be a kobold in disguise. That is what I mean. You will not be getting past me, nor will I bring the treasure to you. Unless... Maybe if Reese could test you, then maybe she could bring you master's items. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe Reese could ask you riddles. That would be good. Yes, it would. Ask me your riddles. I see will ask you three riddles. Yes, she will. You get all three riddles right, and then I know you'll not be kobold. BC likes numbers and thinks kobold too stupid to count. How many nines you use to count to 100? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's an annoying riddle. Well, obviously. One isn't there, so that's a bit of an odd one. Let us see. Nine. No. Nine. Nineteen. Twenty. No, okay, here we go. Here we go. Nine. Nineteen. Twenty-nine. Thirty-nine. Forty-nine. Fifty-nine. Sixty-nine. Seventy-nine. Eighty-nine. Ten. Perhaps she slept through too many of my master's drogans lessons, Barry, but the answer is twenty. Hmm, me see not realize kobold know how to count. But then I know not ugly kobolds could break master's spell either. I better ask you another question, yes, yes, yes. Shut up, daughter! Intelligence was my dump stat. A prisoner is going to be killed, and told by executioner that he must make one statement. If his statement is true, then he will be drowned. If his statement is false, he will be hanged. What statement can make him confuse the executioner and not be killed at all? Hmm. I will be drowned. Well, if it's true, he'll be drowned. Hmm. 
honest. This is a tricky. I'm. This is showing how useless I am at riddles, folks. I will be drowned. If he says that he'll be drowned, and it's true, he will be drowned. If he's false, he will be. I'm innocent. I'm guilty. The executioner would agree with you, and we would be drowned. That would be. That would not work. No, no, no. You must be a cobalt. Reezy, you are too just too smart for me. Please give me another chance. Oh, that is sometimes so true. I have to forget just how smart Reezy is. Yes, I do. I guess Reezy could give you another chance. This is a hard riddle, so you should take your time. Yes, you should. Are you ready? No. When we come back, we shall check this riddle out. So until then, folks. Until then, I'll catch you later. See you then.